Hey guys, happy week three, we've done it, almost there. Um, today what we're going to do is we are going to take a virtual tour of the Louvre. Um, so you guys have heard me talk about this museum before, we've kind of discussed some museums we wanted to visit, uh, but some interesting facts before we actually take the tour. Um, so the Louvre is actually the oldest and largest art museum in the entire world, which is really cool. It actually started out as a fortress um, to protect Paris, complete with a moat and underground tunnel. So there's a lot of really cool history that surrounds it. Um, it also later became a, uh, like a royal, like a, a house, I guess, a chateau um, for French king. Um, but he later moved his, um, his uh, house chateau to uh, Versailles. So it then became a public museum for art. So the most famous painting, the Mona Lisa is held there. Um, and it's a it's really a space that's dedicated to art and cultural education. Um, so when uh, Louis kind of moved was um, during this period, about like the 16th, 17th centuries, um, was right after the Renaissance. So the Renaissance is kind of some of the works that we're going to be looking at. And they're really important because this was a time when science, art, math, all started to come together. So this is when we first see perspective, right? So we talk about atmospheric veil and one point and two points. So we talk about perspective in art. So uh, this is really when all it was like the steam of the, you know, 1300s. <laughs> um, so it's really when it all started to come together. So the pieces that you're going to see are going to have those elements. And it was the first time that they really started to use math to figure out, okay, how can we make this look like it's in the distance or that it has more, um, you know, depth or how can I make it look like something's coming at me? So you're going to see some foreshortening, you're going to see perspective, you're going to see depth in some of the pieces that we're looking at. So we're going to go to um, Le Petit Gallery. I probably butched that, botched that, <laughs> but um, the little gallery. So it's four small rooms. Um, and it's going to showcase various artworks. Um, I'm just looking at the name of the, uh, it's called the Advent of the Artist, which just opened up in September. So unfortunately, the museum's closed, but we get to take a uh, kind of a look at what the this year's edition will be. So it's going to have um, works from the Renaissance. So from Da Vinci, Donatello, Michelangelo. So there's going to be a lot of sculpture. So we are going to focus um, a little bit on sculpture, which we haven't uh, done a lot of. And we're going to find... Um, you guys are going to pick a piece and we're going to work with some of the ideals of foreshortening, just starting simple and breaking down uh, a sculpture of your choice into those basic shapes and forms, trying to add perspective for shortening. So check the video that's coming up next, subscribe, <laughs> and I'll show you guys how to uh, virtually tour the museum. Touring the Louvre. So I did post a link which was going to take you to online tours there's a lot of uh pretty neat links in here remains of the louvre's moat um egyptian antiques but we're going to be going to launch the tour for the advent of the artist um so this is a small four rooms okay and you can see that it's definitely a little bit more clear than some of the other um, apps that we used so we can kind of see the entrance hall right there's a different gallery but we're going to be sticking for right now, unless you guys find something in another gallery, like uh, with sculpture. Um, and we're going to come up through here. So you can see how it brings us up. You can actually rotate, turn around. You can look at the different pieces. And it's definitely uh, a higher definition, higher resolution. You can also click here, Menu 360, which will take you to some of the different pieces that are featured. Um, or you can come up here, All right? So you can see some of the different signature pieces. So if I was to, I'm gonna turn this way, you can see that there's different rooms. You can click on an arrow to bring you to certain places. And I like this piece here. Um, so if I hover over while it is in French, you can actually you can still see who the um, the artist is, which you guys are going to want to note the name, right? So it's Venus, and it's done in marble, the size. So all of those things we used in description, um, and also the year, so 1826. So I'm going to hit this. So I can use this image if I would like for my drawing. 
And all we're going to do is breaking it down into simple shapes. Or if you would like, you can kind of find your own angle and screenshot from that portion. So I can zoom in. Come on. And I can find an angle that I like that I could screenshot. Okay, or I can, like I said, use this as an image. So when you find your piece, I want you guys to start in this, uh, in the little gallery, um, just so you're not overwhelmed, because like I said, it is the largest museum in the, um, in the world. <laughs> but if you'd like to explore, but I want you guys to stick to sculpture that does show some form of foreshortening. So if we look at this piece here, right, we can see how the hand is larger as the elbow and the or a forearm as it recedes to the background, how the knee kind of moves. It said they want me to click. <laughs> so it'll bring you to a different angle, but you can see how this is sculpture in the round, which means it's carved from all sides, right? So it's, it's really neat to see, even just from different angles, how this piece kind of is, um, is made, like foreshortening uh, from, to view from all different angles. Okay, so you guys are going to go through, pick one piece, um, find an image that you like. You can either print it, screenshot it. Um, we aren't tracing because we're going to be breaking this down into shapes, which you're going. And that was the tour. Pretty cool. Um, like I said, there's four rooms that you guys can go through. Um, you can either screenshot uh, an image or you can click on the little, um, the little question mark, which will give you information. You can find another image of the piece. But uh, what you guys are going to do is come up with just a couple small sketches, breaking that down into shapes and forms. Um, I did a quick time lapse, okay? That's going to show you um, how, to, how to do that um, a little bit more dynamically. So using the piece that I showed you how to screenshot, how to just break that down into those simple shapes. So you can have a really, um, uh, anatomically kind of correct piece um, and also just how the form works in general. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or a mine. Um, and that's a wrap.